Hello, I'm James, and I'm a bond servant of God, and of Lord Jesus, our Messiah. To the twelve tribes scattered among the nations, greetings, shalom, hello, hello, hello. Thank you for having me. I want you to consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever any one of you faces trials of many kinds. Because you know, it's the testing of your faith that develops perseverance. Perseverance must finish its work so that you can be mature and complete, not lacking in anything. And if any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God. And he gives it generously to all, to those who seek him. But when he asks, he, he, he shouldn't doubt. Because when he doubts, it's like a wave of the sea blown and tossed by the wind. That man shouldn't think he'll receive anything from the Lord because he's a double-minded man and unstable in all that he does. Let the lowly brother, let him glory in his exaltation. But the one who's rich in his humiliation because the rich man is going to fade away like a wild flower. The sun rises with its scorching heat. It, it withers the plant, the blossom falls, the beauty is destroyed. So too will the rich man fade away, even while he goes about his pursuits. Blessed is the man or woman who perseveres and endures under trial. Because when he, she has finished the test, he will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. But when tempted, when tempted, he shouldn't say, you know, God's tempting me. Because God cannot be tempted by evil. Nor does God tempt anyone. But each one is tempted when he's drawn away by his own desires. Then when desire conceives, it gives birth to sin. Sin when it's full grown. It gives birth to death. Don't you be deceived, my dear brothers and sisters. Every good and perfect gift, it comes from above. And it comes down from the Father of the heavenly lights who doesn't change like shifting shadows. But by his own will, he chose to make us a kind of first fruits of all he's created. Take note of this. Take note of this. Every one of you should be quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to anger, because man's anger doesn't bring about the righteous life that God desires. Therefore, get rid of moral filth and the evil that's so prevalent and humbly, humbly accept the word. Receive the word planted in you which can save you. See this? Want to say amen? Amen. Holy Bible. Okay. Watch this. Ah, Genesis. Leviticus. Leviticus. Yeah. Good. Numbers. Good. Very good. Very good. Let's get to the next part. Ah, Samuel. Yeah. So with the Psalms. Psalms, 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 okay. Isaiah. Very good. Okay, ah, Mark, yes, Luke. Hmm. I didn't know it said that. Very good. Very good, very good, very good. Very good. Ah, well. Don't just 
hear the word only and deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Anyone who hears the word only and doesn't do what it says is like a man who, who looks at his own face in a mirror. Watch this. You smile, I smile. You smile, I smile. You frown, I frown. Big eyebrows, big eyebrows. Small eyebrows, mm, frown. Happy, sad. You see? He looks at his own face in the mirror. And that's what he does. And what happens is when he, when he walks away from the mirror, he forgets who he was. You see? But the one who looks intently into the perfect Torah, the perfect law, and the law is perfect. <laughs> We're not. Looks into the perfect law that gives freedom. Convicted by, thou shalt not steal. Convicted by adultery. Convicted by murder. Looks into this law that gives freedom. He will be blessed in everything he does. If any one of you thinks that you're religious and you cannot keep a tight rein on your tongue, you deceive yourself. Your religion is worthless. Religion that God our Father considers pure and faultless, it's this. It's to look after orphans and widows in their trouble and to keep oneself from being polluted 